Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Henry with the Kimberling Animal Hospital. One thing I enjoy about veterinary medicine is you never really know what's going to come in the door. And today we were surprised by this. This is a dog chewing on a bone and got the bone stuck on the lower jaw. You can see it's, it's behind the canine teeth here. She's uncomfortable and not uh, in a lot of distress though, which is very, very nice. So what we're going to have to do is sedate her, and if I can't uh, remove this with lubrication, we'll probably have to take a bone saw and cut this in two, maybe three pieces to remove it. So uh, again, another reason why you may not want to be letting your dogs chew on these types of bones. So hopefully I'll follow up here with some pictures on what it looks like after we've got it removed. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes now and Daisy's resting comfortably. And once we got her sedated, I could not remove the, the bone with uh, lubrication. So I took a bone saw, or really it's a wire, and we're able to cut the bone into two pieces and remove it safely from her jaw. She's got a nice cocktail of drugs on board. She's resting comfortably, sleeping, doesn't feel any pain or discomfort. Heart's going well. Her uh, uh, got good gum color. Everything looks very, very good. So again, another reason why you shouldn't let your dogs be chewing these kind of bones and maybe chewing bones unsupervised. So I'm Dr. Ross Henry with the Kimberling Animal Hospital.